30 minutes ago, in New York City, there was another tremor, earthquake, whatever you want to call it. Is it a sign of things to come? The world is trying to figure out what is happening. 4.8 plus 4.8, 96. Is this a sign of the solar eclipse? What is really going on? You tell me. Many people are reporting the news. Something is going on. Is it the government? Is it a conspiracy? What is really going on? Even the time of the earthquake at around 10, 23 AM. That number also claimed in the lotto. What is going on? You tell me. The solar eclipse. What will happen on 4.8? Will we be around? Will a black hole immerse and open up a gateway to outer darkness? Which one will it be? Welcome to the stream, everyone. <laughs> Ringo TV reactions. We back again. You already done know what it is. What we're talking about is this wild situation, man. I don't know, man. This is really crazy. But uh, about 30 minutes or so ago, you know, we had yet another tremor or earthquake or whatever you want to call this phenomenon that is taking place. Uh, and there they have also been reports of other aftershocks. So this is really getting interesting. But, you know, the, the interesting thing about this is that uh, at, at approximately 10.23 a.m., that is when actually everything happened. But now what's strange about this, let, let me see if I can pick, if I can uh, pull this up. Hold on a second. Let me see if I can pull this up real fast because... It's amazing, man. Uh, let me see. Let me see. Hold on a second. Wait a minute. Uh, da -dun -da, da -dun -da. It's absolutely crazy, man. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Okay, here we go. Um, ba -ba -ba, ba -ba -ba, ba -ba -ba. Where is it? Because I was hearing words, people saying that the lotto numbers came out with the same number <laughs> or something like that. I'm not sure if it did, but it was sold out. I'm trying to figure out how is it that everybody's playing a lotto number if the earth is supposed to be shaking? <laughs> but anyway... You don't find it kind of ironic that the earthquake is a 4.8, which is sort of like a sign that it's like a sign of the eclipse. Yeah, yeah, I don't, yeah, I ain't figured that out. Like, it doesn't make a little sense. I mean, if you think about it, you know, everybody's waiting for this solar eclipse. Well, that's the, you know, Fourth month, the eighth. Doesn't it make sense? Like, what in the world is going on? And and what does the nine six mean? I hope it's not six 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 or something. <laughs> oh man, we in trouble, man. <laughs> Yo, we doomed, bro. This is crazy, man. Oh man, say it ain't so, man. And tomorrow, wait a minute, tomorrow's the 6th, so that's 666, y'all. 
Oh, man, what are we doing, man? Hey, go find a woman, fam. Put heavy meat inside of her, bro. <laughs> got to do what you got to do, fam. Hurry up. <sighs> man, how many of you guys grab your woman early and put heavy meat inside of her? <laughs> <laughs> Hey, you got to do what you got to do, man. Um, we're going to be going live later. You know what I'm saying? I got to do my topics. You know how it is. But uh, I just wanted to talk about this, man. Like, okay, so with a show of ones, how many people also, uh, I don't want to say the word felt because that's kind of like pause. <laughs> you know, it's one thing if you ask the woman if she if she felt the earthquake. But you can't, you can't ask a dude if he felt that. You can't. It wouldn't be right. You know what I mean? But uh, with a show of ones, how many of you, uh, let me see. I can't even say experienced. Because if you say, hey, did you experience the quake? <laughs> yeah, well, bro, what are you talking about experience? I'm not Anton. <laughs> the booty bandit acts. He told Anton, he says, you're cute. Anton started blushing like, <laughs> I'm like, bro, you ain't give him a knuckle sandwich, bro. Bro, man just said you cute. No, I mean, this is crazy, man. But hey, I don't know, man. Um, I'm not a numbers guy. Um, you know, we, we understand 4.8 plus 4.8 is... 9.6 but 4.8 multiplied by 4.8 is another number I think it's 2304 or something I don't know I, I, I have to get a calculator let me see let me find the calculator man hold on where's my calculator because I'm not good with math you know let me see. Calculator. 4.8 times 4.8. 2304. Hey. Hey. That's crazy. 23.04. So wh what does all these numbers mean, guys? What does these numbers mean, man? This is crazy, y'all. Uh, I got to figure this out, man. We got to find out what's happening, man, because there's, there are some signs given to us and we're not paying attention, man. You think it's 666, man? We in trouble? <laughs> uh, God, so-and-so, y'all know the scripture about number equaling up to 666. That's the number of the beast. But I'm saying we missing a number. We missing one more six. So how are we gonna get that six out of this forty four uh, four point eight? <laughs> Come on, all of you mathematicians out there that's smart. You know what I mean? Come on in here, man. You know what I'm saying? Where where are my Bangladesh people at? <laughs> Y'all know if you a hey, shout out to all the Bangladesh people in the building in case we have any. <laughs> where they at, fam? Y'all know y'all good with that math, man. Where you at? Come on now in the building, man. Because I know for a fact that if you Bangladesh, fam, your parents, man, they tell you, you got to get 100 on all your tests. It's facts. They don't play that. Hey, I'm serious. Do we got any Bangladesh people in the building? Because they don't play that mess. Serious. When they when they children take an exam in school, they have to get a, a, a so-called um, 100 on every test. Their parents don't play that mess. They don't play at all when it comes to education, man. Where are, where are all the Asians at, fam? Y'all good with math, too. Where y'all at? <laughs> I, they, I remember when I was in uh, high school, we had this one Asian kid, man. We went to him for everything. <laughs> he was like, he was like uh, we, we called him calculator. <laughs> Serious. This guy, I don't know what in the world. We used to be like, yo, what's such and such multiplied by such and such divided by such and such? He would just tell you the answer immediately. I'm like, bro, how, how did you do that? 
Oh, I don't know. I just uh, four six can win. Fin five five. Why? <laughs> <laughs> hey, if you Asian, don't get mad now. You know, where all my Nigerian people at? We got Nigerian people. Adume, Adume, your mother she tell me. Your mother she tell me you come to America. Oh oh. Adume, your mother tell me you not doing well in school. I give her the money and you don't listen to me. Oh oh. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, man, this is crazy, man. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to Eric, all the all the brothers at the bodega. You know what I'm saying? All the brothers, all the all the Puerto Rican brothers, the Dominican guy, the Panamanian them at the bodega, man. I try tell her, papi, she no listen to me, you know. I try tell her, you know, I come to the country, mi madre, she try to come to the country. She no listen to me, papi. I try to tell her. Hey, hey, primo. Hey, primo, come to the counter and pay, now. What are you doing over there? Don't let me have to go get my knife or call my son or get my gun. I don't know, man. What's going on with this eclipse, man? Anybody got the word on this thing? Like, I don't know, man. What in the world is going on with this eclipse, man? Hold on a second. I'm getting a phone call in. It's from Pasta. <laughs> How you doing, son? Hey, yo, Pasta, what's going on, bro? <laughs> what's happening with you? <laughs> I'm there, son. <laughs> I was in my chambers with a young lady. <laughs> then the earth started to shake. <laughs> yes, sir. Yo, Pastor, you wildin', fam. I'm live right now, you know what I'm saying? I understand you calling in. But uh, what exactly happened when the earth started to shake? <laughs> Let me tell you, son. <laughs> I was in my bed with my woman, and then my bed started to shake. Uh, hey, man, <laughs> can I get a witness? Yo, Pastor, you wildin', bro. But anyway, Pastor, man, you know what I'm saying? I don't know, man. You know, you got any pointers for, for us young brothers like... Like, when we getting it in, you know what I'm saying, with the ladies, like, w w like what we got to do, you know. Like, I got this thing I be telling the brothers on YouTube, you know, they got to, you know, get these women some heavy meat. What do, you, what do you think about that? Like, like with the women in your church, you know what I'm saying, do, do you give them heavy meat? <laughs> yes, sir. I give all of the women in my church heavy meat. Hey, man, I bring them all to my chambers. <laughs> oh, yes, sir. I, I love me some young women. <laughs> I found me a nice young 25-year-old. I brung her to my chamber and I sprinkle some holy water on her wagon. Uh, yes, sir! Amen. Your pastor, man, you is wildin'. What in the world is going on, man? This is crazy, man. So anyway, uh, pastor, you know, there's a lot of pastors right now taking other men wives on YouTube. They got this one pastor. I think his name is Pastor Dow. He he took another man's wife. What what do you what do you gotta say about that? <laughs> you know, in my Bible, we're not supposed to take another man's wife. <laughs> the law 
God gave man, gave man woman. And he said a man, he said a man is not supposed to live by bread alone. But by every word that proceeded out the mouth of God. Yeah, I understand that, Pastor, but we got these pastors stealing other men wives. <laughs> Ain't nobody stealing my wife. I just got me a new batch of Viagra. Yes, sir. I had my wife in my bed. Amen. My wife. I had her in my bed. Yo, pastor, you wildin'. What are you doing, man? <laughs> you know, <laughs> I'm 86 years young now. And when I tell you, <laughs> I ordered a whole box of Viagra. <laughs> I give my women. I give my women. Yo, Pastor, yo, you wildin', bro. What in the world's the matter with this man? Hey, hey, Pastor, man, as an 86-year-old pastor of the church, man, I'm telling you, bro, you one of the coolest pastors in the world, bro. I ain't gonna hold you, man. <laughs> well, young man, you know, all day my bed been moving. I had like two of my wives text me at the same time talking about they want some work. I said, I can't deal with you right now because I had my third wife at my house. Uh, that's right. Uh, I had her in the bed uh, and I rub her down uh, and I put some holy water on her backside. Yes, amen. I rub it down. I smacked it. I flip it. And I rub it down. Oh, no. Pastor, you wildin'. What are you doing, bruh? <laughs> yo. Yo. Yo, pastor, man. Yo, I got to get back to my live show, man. You wildin' out, bro. <laughs> See, you young guys, y'all don't understand. <laughs> you young guys be thinking y'all macho, man. <laughs> man, I tell you, man, I love my women. I said I love my women. I love my women. You wildin'! Yo, you wildin' out, bro! <laughs> Yo! Yo, man. What you talking about, Willis? Yo, Pastor, man. Hey, I'm gonna call you back, man, because I gotta get back to my show, man. But, hey, you have any final words for the brothers and sisters out there? <laughs> <laughs> For the young brothers, you got to take care of yourself now. You got to take care of your meat. Because all the women uh, that come to my church, uh, and when they come to my church, because I only allow women to come to my church. You only allow women to come to your church? Only women are allowed in my church. I don't allow no men. Why would I want a man? Why would I want a man in my church? I don't want to see no men in my church. I got a lot of meat for the sisters. I got to give them heavy meat. You know, the Bible says that you shouldn't give a young babe uh, milk, you know. You, you, you know, you got to give, you got to give these women heavy meat. Yes, amen. 
Yo, pastor, man, you wildin', bro. You mean to tell me your church don't got no brothers that come by? Son, I just told you I don't allow men in my church. <laughs> all right, all right, cool, man. Like, hey, man. So how many women, like, exactly how many women come and visit your church? Hmm, let me see. Well, you know, I got to bring them down to the chapel. And uh, in my chapel, I can hold about a good 250 women. Hmm, when I go to the pulpit, all I see is vagina. And I got my Viagra. And I... <laughs> yo, yo, pastor, man. Hey, I'm going to call you back later on, man. All right, pastor, man. You, you take it easy, man. <laughs> okay, son. Yes. <laughs> hey, that's pastor, man. Pastor be wilding out, y'all. You know how it is. But anyway, man, hey, let's talk about this eclipse, man. Like, I don't know. It's like the world is wilding out. You know, people are getting afraid. Yo, you know what's so crazy, fam? Um, I was watching the news, right? I don't got the clip in front of me. I think they setting this thing up, bro. I was watching the news clip. The news anchor said, this is the fourth earthquake for the week. And I'm like, what? <laughs> Did he just slip up and tell us something that he wasn't supposed to say? I'm trying to figure this out. Did y'all catch that news clip? There's a news clip, fam, where the dude said this. Let me see. Let me see if I can. Um, I don't even know where it is. I'll leave it alone. But I, I know I saw it earlier, right, where the news anchor guy said, this is the fourth earthquake, the fourth we had for the week. And I'm listening to this like, what? And if you look at his face, it's almost like they know what's going on. I really believe the government know what's going on. They just playing games with us and whatnot. I really believe they know. You know, I really do. Um, that's what the news person said. The news person said this is the fourth earthquake in New York. That's what he said. For the week. And I'm trying to figure out, I thought today was the first. <laughs> so I'm like, what is going on here, bro? They ain't wilding out, man. But anyway, y'all, I just came to report the news. You know what I'm saying? Make you laugh a little bit. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> I, I'm going to find the clip and do a video about that another time. Because I don't know why he said that. I'm, I'm, the lady looked at him almost like, why did you say that? You letting out the secrets. So I'm like, yo, this is crazy, man. I don't know, bro. But anyway, um, let me see. It looked like integrity, loyal love got the extra six for us. Oh, no. Oh, man, we in trouble. We are in trouble, man. Look like she did, she did the, the math. Oh, man, we doomed, bro. <laughs> oh, it's the end of the world, and we know it. It's the end of the world, and we know it. But I feel fine. <laughs> Anybody know the name of that song? I want, I want to get that song, man. The song that was in uh, Independence Day. When um, the aliens came and they were singing that song, that rock and roll song. Let me see if I can find. Um, I, don't, I don't even know how to search for it, but I'll just type in. Uh, uh, let me see. It's the end of the world song. Let me see if it is such a thing. Um. Skeller Davis, I don't know. Is this it? It's the end of the world and we know it. 
and I feel fine. Who made that song? Is it R.E.M.? R.E.M.? I think it's R.E.M. I don't want to play it because I don't want to get no copyright. You know how that go. <laughs> but I see something on the screen here. It says R.E.M. It's the end of the world as we know it. And I feel fine. R it says song by R.E.M. So that got to be the song. Yeah, that got to be it. Wait a minute. The lyric says, that's a great, that's great. It starts with an earthquake. What? <laughs> what? No, say it ain't so. Yo, the lyrics. Let me see if I could pull this up. Let me see if I could pull this up. I ain't, I ain't kidding y'all, man. Y'all think this is a joke. I'm not joking. All right, let me see if I could put this on the screen. All right, this is crazy. Hold up. Wait a minute. The lyric says earthquake, y'all. Let me see. Let me put this on the screen. Check it out. It's the end of the world as we know it. It says, if you look at the lyrics, it says, that's great. It starts with an earthquake. <laughs> nah, say it ain't so. What? Nah, bro. Yo, oh man. Eyes of a hurricane. Listen, nah, man. This ain't right, bro. What in the world? Yo, this is getting creepy, man. <laughs> this is getting more creepy as we go, fam. Everybody in New York is, is concerned about going to sleep. <laughs> uh, whatchamacallit? Um, let me see what's going on. Uh, da, 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 da. Okay. All right, let me take this off the screen here. All right, so uh, where are we at? Uh, da, 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 da. Yeah. One hour ago, did you feel the shake? Yeah, my, my uh, daughter had told me she felt a shake, so I'm like, oh, snap. This is crazy, bro. Man, oh, man. I don't know, man. We're going to see. You know what I mean? We're going to see what happens. Let me see what y'all are saying. Look up Illuminati cards. Ah, I ain't looking that up, fam. Nah, bro. <laughs> I don't want to know nothing about that. Uh, Y'all New Yorkers scared to go to sleep? Who, me? Not me. I'm, <laughs> I'm not scared of anything, fam. I'm over here cracking jokes. Oh, that's... Let me see. That's Caramel Kimmy Kim talking. Now, why would I be? Why would I be scared? <laughs> Not scared. I'm just saying. I'm listening. I'm watching people. People online are going crazy. They're literally going wild right now. They're like the the bed is shaking. The the the, the dishes are falling out the cabinet. <laughs> you know. But uh, yeah, man. Um. I don't walk around with no spirit of fear. I don't do that. I'm one of those type of people that believe that as long as I'm in New York, ain't nothing happening. You get what I'm saying? It's like when you when you read the scriptures and uh, uh, let's see, like uh, Job, you know what I mean? The most high wanted to destroy, um, not, wait, was it Job? No, that was Lot, um, Lot. When they, when he wanted to, um, the most high was going to destroy Sodom and Gomorrah, but, uh, he was the only righteous, the only righteous in the land. That's, that's what was upholding the judgment. They had to get him out first and then the judgment came in, you know, same thing with Noah. You know what I mean? It's like, so I look at things like that. That's how I think. I look at it like as long as there are righteous men in the land. No matter what's going on. Now, that's not to say things can't happen. Um, at the same time, it's never good to live in fear. 
You got to think like that. You got to really think, hey, I'm with the most high. I'm of the righteous. That's not happening while I'm here. I don't care what's going on. It's not going to happen while I'm here. And you got to stand on that with all your might, all your heart, all your soul. You got to believe that. That's the only way. That's your only hope. You got to believe that. You know, some of you brothers and sisters that be on the nine to five, the only reason why that job don't crumble and fall apart is because you're there. Trust me, as soon as you leave, the job is not going to be the same no more. You're the one that's upholding that job. But I, I'm telling you, this is a fact. Some of you brothers and sisters that was once at a particular job, once you left, the company fell apart. It fell apart. It ain't working the same. It's just not good anymore. And the job is calling you back. Co-workers are calling you back. Everybody wanting you to come back. Why? Because when you were there, everything was going good. You understand what I'm saying? I'm telling you, bro. That's how, Listen, I'm talking about in all departments in the workplace. Everything fell, fell apart. Once you left. There's no peace. There's no joy. Everybody's like they're not happy at the job. Nothing is good because you're not there. You are the light of the most high at the workplace. Matter of fact, some of you, you experience what I'm saying. You'll walk into a store, right? The store was empty as soon as you walked in. But once you entered, right, all of a sudden customers start coming into the store. A bunch of customers start coming in the store. That's the blessing that's following you. A lot of y'all don't even realize how blessed you are. That's why I keep saying you can't be living in fear. You got to think very, very positive when it comes to your faith in the most high. You have to. That's why it says if you have faith as a grain of mustard seed, you shall say unto this mountain, be thou removed, and it, it will happen for you. That means that you have mountain moving faith. But see, the only time that faith is going to truly be tested is when calamity shows up, when uh, destruction shows up. That's when your faith is going to be tested. It's easy to say you got faith when everything is going good. But what about when things is really going bad? What about when your house is shaking? What about when they say it's an earthquake and everybody's panicking? That's the best time to put your faith into practice. You understand? That's why I can crack my jokes. That's why I can laugh. That's why I can giggle. Because the first thing you have to ask yourself is this. I have no control over, you know, the what's going on in the earth. Because there's a lot of wickedness going on in high places. You have the government that's controlling the weather, that's acting like they're God, that's doing all sorts of evil in order to keep the people under their control. So the only thing you can do is have your trust in the most high. See, worrying about things you have no control over, it's really a waste of energy. It's a waste of time. I'm not going to worry about that. If the job says they're going to lay people off, I'm not worrying about that. I'm not going to worry about what they say. If I'm with the most high, I know the most high going to make sure that I'm good. As long as I'm putting in work, you know, got boots on the ground doing what I got to do. He's going to open up another door. You know what I mean? That's just the way things go. You know? So you have to have that kind of confidence and that kind of faith that says, and I'm not talking about religious faith. Matter of fact, check this out. You don't even have to have a Bible verse to have that kind of faith. Remember, men of old that follow the most high, they didn't have no Bible. Think about that. Think about the men of the Most High from way back that had to put their trust in the Most High. They couldn't turn the chapter and verse. They had to believe in the Most High. They had to. You know, that's just the way it is. So you got to have that kind of confidence where you're like, look, I was born in this world for a purpose. I'm here. There's a lot of unfinished business. The Most High got me. And that's it. I'm not going to fear nothing. I'm not going to fear what man could do to me. I'm not going to fear the devil. I'm not going to fear demons, destruction, earthquakes, calamity. I don't care what's going on. 
I'm not going to fear. I'm going to be calm, cool, and collected. While everybody else is, oh, no, the, the earthquakes are. Ah! I'm not doing that. I'm not. What I'm going to do is laugh. Even the Bible tells you that. It tells you to laugh at famine, laugh at calamity. When it knocks, laugh at it. <laughs> Don't let it get you. See, here's the thing. You got to laugh at calamity, laugh at destruction, laugh at it. Because if you don't laugh at it, you're going to end up crying, right? Because the calamity is going to make you cry. So it's all about who's going to do what. Are you going to let calamity and destruction make you cry? Or are you going to look at calamity and laugh at it? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You got to laugh at it because you, you, I mean, hey, if you serve the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, right? The Bible clearly tell you that in the last days, there's going to be earthquakes. There's going to be rumors of wars. There's going to be famines. So what, what is the big surprise? The Bible says that this is going to happen. You know? So why? It says these things shall come to pass. These, it matter, I believe it said these things must come to pass. You know what I mean? But the end is not yet. You know what I mean? Then it talks about how... Uh, you know, there'll be perilous times, uh, uh, family against family, um, nation against nation, kingdom against kingdom. Then the end shall come. You know, it says all these things must come to pass. So all the earthquakes and all the stuff that you're seeing, it's going to come to pass. There's no way. There's no way you can escape that. Yeah, birth pains. Those are birth pains. Those are uh, what you call that um, contractions. You know, when a woman is is um, about to give birth and she's going through these contractions, that's the earth uh, preparing for, for birthing something that's coming forth, you know. But see, when these things happen, uh, sad to say, you know, the earth... Um, remove certain people um there's a there's a word for that um y'all know what i'm thinking i think it's called natural selection you know where there's certain amount of animals certain amount of people that gotta go natural selection you know like i seen this one video where you had um a bunch of uh i'm not sure what they are i think they're seals or I don't know what they are, but mountain seals or um, whatever they are. They're, these seals, I don't even know how they got to the top of the mountain, but they were trying to get down to go to the water. And they all were just going off a cliff, killing themselves to get down. And it's, it's like so many of them died to the point where when the others fell, they fell on top of the bodies and it cushioned the fall. And then they were able to go to the water. So it's like so many of them had to die first to preserve the rest. It's amazing, but that's natural selection. You know, it is what it is, man. Um, let me see. Um, well, I always heard when I was a little kid that um, when you hear lightning and thunder, it means that the most high is moving furniture around. I mean, I don't believe that anymore, but uh, that's what I heard when I was a kid. I used to be like, my parents must be lying to me because he must have some big furniture. <laughs> you know? I mean, so what is he doing when there's an earthquake? What is he doing now? You know? I don't think he's moving furniture, man. He's probably, probably destroying the house. <laughs> y'all had y'all parents tell y'all the same lie that, oh, uh... It's thunder and lightning. Mama, it's thunder and lightning. Oh, that's God. He's moving the furniture. <laughs> he's moving the furniture? Yeah. He's moving the furniture in heaven, you know? And then what's crazy is when I was bad in school and at thunder and lightning, she would say that God is upset with me because the teacher call, call her. <laughs> you know? It's crazy stuff, man. Man, oh man, bro. So, that's about it. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to get on out of here. Um, I got to come back with my next stream. You know, test out this new lens. 
Yo, this lens is crazy, man. It is crazy, man. I'm glad I purchased that, man. Hey, when I tell you, man, when you support the show, I put the cash right back into the business, man. This, listen, when I get this rig set up, man, and I and I actually start filming with this thing, man, I cannot wait. I cannot wait to uh, start editing, man. Cause this this thing is a monster. <laughs> this thing is a definite a cinema rig, man. I'm kind of just see what I got to do. I'm gonna get my microphone on Sunday. <clears throat> I'm gonna get the microphone. Um, it's two different microphones that I gotta get. Um, the Sennheiser 50. I forgot it's the the M something whatever 50. That one, and the Sennheiser. 416 now based on my research the sennheiser 416 is perfect for outside that's what it was made for it was made primarily for outside because it has crystal clear clarity and if you use it with a blimp which is kind of expensive man it's like about 400 dollars is this piece this device you put the microphone inside of it and when you're outside <clears throat> when you're outside using that microphone, I'm telling you, you don't hear no wind, no noise. All you hear is the audio. That's how when you when you be watching those movies and the audio be perfect, that's the microphone they use. Do the research. All these movie production companies and whatnot, they be using that Sennheiser uh 416 that's the microphone they be using you know let me see uh hey at ringo tv reactions would it be smart to use um fair use when i'm uh direct streaming you to another platform at the same time doing commentary and ignite conversations <clears throat> as long as you are doing commentary, then it's all fair use. You understand? As long as you're doing commentary and, and criticism, then it's fair game. Now, if you mirror something, then I'm going to get you. <laughs> you know what I mean? But if it's, if, it's, if it's commentary, then you're good to go. You don't need no permission. You don't need to, to ask me nothing. You don't have to ask for permission from nobody. If you play a video and you're adding commentary, we're not talking about you premiering someone's video. In other words, you're streaming a video and you're just letting it play for two hours straight. That's not no fair use. You got to be sharing commentary. In other words, you breaking down the video, you sharing your opinions, you're sharing your thoughts that's a fair use because you you created a new a new uh product if that makes sense you know but you don't need no one's permission to use any videos as long as you're doing commentary and criticism that's the key commentary and criticism if you're not doing that and you're just playing a video then you'll end up getting hit with a copyright because it's like, that's like you have a YouTube channel and you stream in my video, right? You're not sharing no commentary, but you monetize in the video. You get what I'm saying? That's a bad look because it's like, it's like you're just trying to use my content in order to get a buzz so that you can make some, some money. Now, I don't mind if you want to make whatever money you want, as long as your video is fair use. Commentary and criticism, that's it. You know? That's all it is. It's very easy, very simple to do. And also, you don't have to have... Uh, I normally put fair use like on my video or whatever. That's something that I've been doing since 2006. It's a habit. You don't need to do that. Fair use is fair use. It's not like if somebody look at your video and you throw up a fair use sign that they're going to be like, okay, fair use, let me leave him alone. Some people are just not educated. You got some people that know the fair use doctrine and they will still file a copyright claim against you because they're foolish and, and wicked. 
But all of those claims will be refuted once you file a counter notice because once uh, they cannot provide no court order against you, your video is going to be restored. So it don't even make no sense. Some people do that out of ignorance. Some people do that because they're just wicked and they figure you don't know your rights. You know what I mean? It's really dumb. I mean, if you're on social media and you do a video and someone react to your video and you get mad and file a bogus co copyright claim, then you're, you're just a clown. You're a clown and a coward. Like real talk, because that's what social media is all about sharing opinions if you don't want nobody responding to your videos reacting to you talking about you then get the hell off the internet for real for real because some people some people be getting mad because other people talk about them and i'm like fam what's the point of you know getting mad because somebody's talking about you like get off get off the internet you know, just get off the Internet. Fair use is is pretty much, first of all, the news media use everybody's material, right? Because it's a fair use, even if it's copywritten, right? Also note, uh, anybody that's on YouTube, right, that do a video, none of their videos are copywritten. And this is why I don't understand why YouTube have such a, a bogus system. N nobody that stream on YouTube have a copyright, number one. They, none of them, though. None of them. Because you would have to register your work with the Library of Congress, and it costs a fee. How could your video be copywritten as soon as you finish live streaming? That makes no sense. It's not copywritten. But people try to put these things in place to make you feel intimidated in using their material i'll use anybody's material and there's nothing you can do about it you can file a bogus copyright claim but i'm gonna beat that copyright claim and then youtube is gonna terminate your channel when they realize that you've been abusing the dmca claim system i've had people channels get terminated because of that you know they tried to abuse the system and i'm like listen you post a video, I react to the video. What's the problem? Well, I don't like the fact that you're talking about me. You know what I'm saying? You violated my copyright. Okay. And they go ahead and file a DMCA claim. And next minute, their channel get terminated because YouTube don't play that game of you abusing the system. It tells you that right, right before you file a DMCA, it tells you. It clearly tells you to respect fair use. Why? Because they're trying to protect you from losing your channel. But some idiots, they just don't get it. And they go ahead with the flow and then they lose everything. You know? Uh, let's see. Um, ba -ba -dum -bum, ba -ba -dum -bum. Fair use is fair use. The problem is a lot of people just don't know their rights. It's just that simple. If you on social media... Anybody that posts anything on social media is fair game. The only thing that is a little sketchy is when you have movies. You know what I mean? That's like you reviewing a movie. Um, don't, don't take a movie and upload a movie talking about you doing a reaction video. No. If I'm reviewing a movie, to me, the best practices is, number one, to take the whole movie, right? Throw it into your editor, Right? Remove the vote, the, the, the audio, so that there's no audio, right? Next thing, what you want to do is take screen captures of the video and you chop up the sections that you want to talk about. You don't have to let them play out. Just capture the screenshots and you put uh, like about 100 screenshots together and create a slideshow. That way you can review a movie with still images. And then, you know, you put your own background music and then you do your commentary and that way you're protected under fair use. But if you take a motion blockbuster film and you put it on YouTube, you're going to get hit with a copyright. And these bigger, these big mega uh, motion picture companies, they got all the attorneys and all the money and everything to suppress you because they got copyrights. They got everything. They got all of the stuff and they will they will make sure that you don't have that video up. You understand? So 
if you had a clip of a movie, I'm talking about a clip, right? I'm talking about a small portion and you did a commentary based on that, you could get away with that. You know what I mean? But me personally, I would alter the video. I would alter the video. I would reverse it, number one. In other words, take the video and reverse it, right? Number two, I would slow the video down so the video is very slow. You know what I mean? And I would, if you have the audio in, I would pitch the, the, the vocals down five octaves. That way it's totally different. And the AI won't be able to pick up on it because that's how you end up getting content ID match claims. If you're a YouTuber and you get content ID claims, it's because the video was registered with a company in order to try to get money from you. Um, anytime you get those type of things, content ID matches and all that other mess, a lot of greedy, greedy YouTubers, they register their videos with a, a company in order to track all their material all across social media in order to monetize off of you. So to beat that, it would be to alter the video so that it won't be picked up by the AI. You know? Or another trick is to transpose the video, like make the video transparent so you can see through it. Like, for example, the, the video clip that you see on the screen, right? If I take that and I add a filter on it, like, let me see, if I do this, right? All right, watch how I do this now. You see that? You, you could do that with a video and the AI won't be able to pick up on it because it sees right through it. See, if you have the video like this, you'll get hit with the copyright. But if you go like this, the video is still there. Your audience could see it, but they'll see the other image behind it. So when the AI look at your video, it can't see the video because the information it sees is the background video. So that's another smart way of doing your content, right? So, yeah. All right, man. So, hey, I'm going to get on out of here. I got, I got to do this stream. I got to do this stream tonight. So um, y'all look out for that. You know what I mean? But anyway, um, guys, go find your woman. Put heavy meat on her. Um, ladies, don't be afraid of the meat. <laughs> so I'll catch y'all later on. You know what I'm saying? We're going to be back with another one. A great stream tonight. We're going to have a good conversation and um, very, very interesting show. Then we're going to do another one in the morning because I, I took up all my time and, you know, doing all these other videos. And also because of the whole earthquake thing, it just kind of, you know, threw me off what I was planning on doing, you know. <laughs> um, Let me see. You said Dow is on going on to do damage control. Nobody cares about what he's doing, fam. Like I said, I'm applying nothing but pressure. It doesn't matter what he do, I'm applying pressure. You know what I'm saying? Nothing but truth, nothing but information. I got a lot of videos to do. He could he could do whatever he wanna do. He's supposed to be focusing on repenting and getting right with the most high. My job is to crush the false prophets, to crush the false teachers, to make them cry. That's my job. And I do that by way of speaking truth. That's it. All I'm doing is speaking the truth. You know what I mean? Straight way is a cult. Um, we're going to talk about a lot of things. Um, we're going to talk about uh, Dowell's background. We're going to talk about who he came out of, what camp he came out of, who was his spiritual leader. We're going, we have a lot of things to talk about. Please don't ask me what time. I am not good with telling you what time. I just come on when I come on. All you can do is just make sure that you are subscribed and you got the notification bell on lock. That's all I can say. You know, I'm not going to give no times because if I do that, I'm not going to be there. You know, because anything can happen. You know, just know that I'm coming on. That's about it. 
I got to go take care of this video that I'm editing and then I'm going to prepare to go live, you know? So, um, it is what it is, but we got a lot of videos that we got to do. So, um, yeah, we'll be back later on. Um, it is what it is. Uh, I got to go do this video. So, hey, shout out to all the brothers, man. That's another thing. Shout out to all the brothers out there in these YouTube streets that are making videos about the Pastor Dow situation. You know what I mean? All the brothers that got smaller channels, all the ladies that are making videos. You know what I'm saying? You don't have to be the most popular YouTuber, got the biggest channel. It don't matter about none of that. Some of you guys, you got smaller channels and you made a video about the situation and you got like 5,000 views, 10,000 views. That right there should show you that it's not really about all your subscribers. It's about the content. It's about what people want to hear, what people want to see. So apply the pressure. You know what I mean? Be motivated. Double down. If you did a video and the video is doing good and the video get numbers, double down. Make another video and keep the pressure going. Don't worry about what people say. Oh, you keep making videos about him. You can't. Well, why you keep watching? Why you keep watching? See, when people say that type of stuff, it's because they're trying to stop your momentum. I mean, if you don't like what I'm watching, unsubscribe and never watch me again. Is it that simple? Like, is it that hard to follow? Like, stop watching me. It makes no sense. You sit around complaining about something that you can control. Stop watching me. I'm doing the work of the most high, you know? Yeah, but what about P. Diddy? What about him? What about him? I mean, what? Like, come on now. Like, what more am I going to say? I could go make three P. Diddy videos right now, and they're going to get a bunch of numbers. I'm pretty sure there's probably new info that I haven't talked about yet. But right now, I'm focusing on Dowell. That's what I'm focusing on. You know, it is what it is. Um, let me see. All right. Because I got more videos. Listen, there's a lot of things that I got to do, man. You know, I got to talk about the situation with um, uh, uh, Brother Jamie. Got to talk about that situation. Then I got to talk about um, the... Uh, the the virgin virgin auction block i gotta talk about that um i gotta talk about i gotta talk about a lot of things man it's a lot of things i gotta talk about i don't care who get upset you know what i mean i'm not here to uh be no people pleaser i'm here to do this work i'm here to um just put the truth out there i don't care no more about what anybody think you know what i mean when you see leaders that are in positions of power and they can't repent, you know, that is all I need to fuel the fire for me to go out there and do this work. Because like I said, back in the day in, in 2006 to about 2012, I was cooking pastors and false prophets for, for dinner. I was literally cooking them. That's all I did. And they were pissed. All these ministries, they know who I am. The Creflo Dollars, the TD Snakes, the Benny Sins, the, the Jesse Duplantis's, the, the, all of them, the Oral Roberts, all of those different people, all the TBN network pastors and preachers, all of them, they all know who I am. All of them been exposed. I had so many wars with those pastors back in the day. So they know who I am. You know? So it's time for these new, these new age pastors to know who I am too. So I'm going to be cooking a lot of pastors, man. All, all of them, all of them are going to be on the skillet. All of them. I don't care. It's time to repent. It is time. I'm shutting it all down. All these churches getting shut down. I don't want to see, I don't want to see nobody up in there. I don't care what nobody say. None of these churches is from the most high. None of them. It's all a game. It's all a business. It's a hustle to control people, to keep them locked in so they don't have a voice. You know, keep them on a plantation as long as you can, deceiving them while some damn man is over them controlling their every move. Nah, I'm not with that. 
there is no way in this world i'll be up under some pastor talking about oh yeah you're my pastor you got to be out of your mind telling me when i can go who i can have what money i can get man you man um, let me just calm down before i start cussing and acting wild man because it pisses me off to see the type of stuff and the abuse that is out here with these wicked men you know what i mean wicked dowell out there defamed eric and the whole time he took that man's wife took that man's wife put heavy meat inside of her you know what i mean prancing around on social media like 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 yeah yeah you know what i'm saying this is my wife bro you can't say nothing you can't say there's nothing you could preach you out here fucking another man's wife you, there's nothing you could say you can't say a damn thing You think this is a game? You think the Most High is pleased? The Most High ain't pleased with you, sir. The Most High is not pleased with you. And the brothers have spoken. You out here putting meat inside of another man's wife. And you out here in a pulpit preaching like you some man of Yah. No, you not. You not. And your whole congregation is wicked. Everyone is wicked because they know about it. And nobody's saying a word because you control them. But I'm going to speak. You're wicked and you need to repent. You know what I mean? You need to repent. It's just like them wicked kings in the Bible, like King Herod and all them, them wicked men in their adulterous affairs. You know what I mean? Better go get rid of that woman. Tell her to go her way. Because based on all the reports and all the news that I'm getting in, it seems as if though a lot of these guys down there, and we're going to find out. We're going to listen, fam. When I go live, I need the name. I need the name of a particular elder at Straightway in whom I need to put on blast. Heavy. So when I go live, we're going to put this truth out there. And if anybody got any info about the so-called pastor or elder or deacon or whatever the, the crap name dude is, I want his name. I want to know who he is, what he looked like, so we could put him on Front Street and expose him too. Because based on all the info that I'm getting in, these guys at Straightway is after your wives. And there's a lot of malicious evil that is going on. And I'm not playing. You know what I mean? Brother Jamie released another video. We're going to review that. And I'm telling you, I want to know who's who. Faces and all. So we could put them up to judgment. Because there's too much adultery going on. And I, I hold Dowell responsible. Because he's allowing this evil. He's allowing this evil, man. This is crazy, man. And and shout out to Jamie, fam. Shout out to Jamie for, you know, completing his testimony. You know what I mean? If y'all got time, go on over there to Jamie's channel. You know what I mean? Watch his video before I go live so he could get those views. You know what I mean? Check out his video because I'm going to talk about it later. You know what I mean? Go to his channel. Check it out. You know what I mean? If you don't know his channel... Um, go into my video where I did the, the testimony about him, where, I, where I, I uploaded the testimony. The link should be in the comments somewhere. You know what I mean? Find the link. Go over there. Check out his video. You know what I mean? So he get his views. You know what I mean? Because I'm going to go live to review that video. And I got a lot to talk about. You know, let me see. Shout out to Brother Rufus in the chat. You said Elder Becca. Elder Becca. Hmm. Elder Becca. Let's see. Elder Becca. What do you know? Looked like we got a name. Hmm. Looked like we got a name. Um. Let me see. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, 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 dun. 
dun, 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 dun. Oh, you finished the eight hour stream? I mean, I mean, I don't expect anybody to watch the whole stream in one shot unless like you're not at work and you don't got nothing to do. Because remember, a lot of you, you guys, a lot of you ladies, you got jobs, you got families. I don't expect y'all to sit there all day watching a whole eight hours. But, you know, sometimes you might be at work and you could listen in and you might get through the whole video. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Depending on your occupation, like a lot of the truck drivers, um, security workers and various things they be watching the videos full straight through you know because it depends on your job you know and i figure you know like when the weekend come you might be able to get through a video and whatnot but if anybody watched the videos in its entirety they're gonna learn a lot man because i don't play around with the uh the work you know i don't play around l da becca <laughs> interesting man we gotta have a talk about you sir that's right you're not escaping this one and see this lifestyle that i'm seeing that's happening at straightway it, it, it's not new you know what i mean it's not a new lifestyle oh no it's not we got a lot to talk about. That's right. A lot. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Elda Becca. <laughs> Elda Becca, somebody needs to warn you. Because we're going to deal with you. We're going to deal with you, Elda Becca. That's right. And see, Elda Becca, um... I already destroyed your pastor. So you, you pretty much is light work, light work. Cause your pastor, he can't respond to nothing that I shared. He can't respond to Jamie. He can't respond to, um, what you call it? Eric Gonzalez, you know, he can't even stand up like a man and respond to Rufus. He can't. He used all of his uh, um, cronies and minions to speak for him. You know? Um, it's crazy, man. So, Elda Becca. <laughs> man oh man you in trouble very 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 serious trouble sir very and your pastor cannot save you from the judgment so be prepared be prepared sir and all the other elders and pastors at straightway be mindful I'm coming for you too once more people come forward and look to all the brothers come forward come forward if you're a brother and you were taken advantage of in any way call out names so i can put them on front street so that we could review the tapes make a video about it stop being a coward make a video i don't know why dudes out here scared of these pastors they don't got no power they don't got no power at all, fam. You know, it's like, why? Why waste time with that mess? You know? So at the end of the day, guys, we're going to get up on out of here, do what we need to do. And um, I'll be back later on with another one. And uh, that's about it. You know? So y'all take care. Um, I don't know what time I'm coming on, but... We'll be back on later on. Remember, I got my I got my chat open to the whole world. That's why you have that. You know, that's why you see uh, the trolls and the, all of that other mess come in and whatnot. But uh, I set it to subscriber only. So they would have to subscribe now. That's why we have memberships, because if you put it on members only, 
then now people got to spend money. So, you know, a troll is not going to spend no money. <laughs> a troll is not spending no money. Right. So, hey, we're going to be back on later. Look out for the show. You know, we're going to be talking about a particular elder that been doing some dirt. Got to talk about this. And we're going to be talking about Dowell at the same time. Nobody's going to be able to hide from this one. We got testimony. So again, to all the brothers out there, if you had any dealings with Straightway, you dealt with church hurt, abuse, verbal abuse, being put down, um, gossip, if they stole your wife, if they stole your woman, if they put heavy meat in, in one of your ladies, make a video. Make a video, post it up, and... Um, you know, it is what it is. You know? Let me see. Thanking, thanking God for everyone. Yo, there was bigger earthquake. Where? Where at? Because in New York, there was earthquakes. And a lot of aftershocks and tremors and all of that type of stuff. Um... I don't got no control over that. So, hey, it is what it is. Um, so if you're a woman and you had been abused by the church, by a straight way, in any way, if you were threatened, if you were uh, taken advantage of, if somebody put heavy meat inside of you, low key, you know what I mean? If you did any sexual favors that you're ashamed of, and it was a particular pastor or elder and you know what i mean you you did you did the dirty deeds or whatever the case is hey it's good to expose the devil man it's good to expose the devil you know what i mean come forward make a video talk about it and let the world know because if you don't you're going to be carrying around the guilt you know what i mean some of you ladies that may have left straightway you can't even straighten out your life because somebody may have, you know, destroyed your spirit and you're walking around burdened after a elder or a deacon put heavy meat inside of you and then he gave you a bill of divorce. So if you're a woman at straightway or was at straightway and somebody gave you a bill of divorce, Make a video and send it to me on Instagram at Ringo TV Raw. Stop being afraid. Stop being afraid of these church folk, bro. Stop it. They don't have no power. You know? So we're going to get back to work later on. Y'all take care. Um, peace and blessings again. Um, I'll shout out Cash App support in the, the main streams, right? The next one, All right? So I'm going to go get on out of here, do what I got to do and whatnot. So, uh, yeah. Um, yeah, I'll talk more about different things in my next stream. So, hey, catch y'all of y'all later. Shout out to everybody in the clouds that watch in the clouds and you don't want to come into the chat for whatever reason. Maybe you're afraid. You probably feel some type of way that I'm going to, you know, call you out or anything. Don't be afraid. You know what I mean? Like we chill over here. We talk about real issues. Sometimes I might, you know, challenge the audience and whatnot. But if you're out there in the clouds and you like the platform, subscribe, click the like button, you know, look through my content. We do all sorts of content over here, all sorts of reaction videos. I'm a music producer. Um, we just, you know, about the most high. I rep the most high. Get to know a brother, you know what I mean? Don't be too quick to listen to a bunch of bochinche. You have a question, hit me up on Instagram. You know what I mean? I'm an open book, 100% transparent. I don't hide from nothing. It is what it is. You know what I mean? So, hey, catch y'all later on in the next stream. I'm going to be out of here. No outro. But then again, might as well I put an outro, right? Yeah. Okay. I'm out. Take care. <laughs> Peace. We out of here. Wait a minute, my outro don't even work. <laughs> Hold up, what in the world? This is crazy. Is it stuck?
<laughs> Yo, hold on, wait a minute. I'm pressing the buttons and it's stuck, guys. Yo, you think the earthquake did that? Did y'all see that? Let me try again, hold on. Yo, it's still stuck. What in the world? Hold up. Yo, this is crazy. This is crazy, yo. Are y'all seeing this? Nah, I gotta let this record, fam. Hold on a second, man. Hold on a second. Yo, I just clicked the outro button and it didn't go to the outro. Yo. What in the world? Hold on, let me do this. Let me see. What? It's not even playing. <laughs> Yo, this is crazy. I don't know what's going on, fam. It's the Twilight Zone. I'm just going to leave, fam. <laughs> I'm just going to have to restart the whole system, fam. I don't know what's going on. I really don't know what's going on, fam. It says YouTube is not receiving enough data. <laughs> what? Yo. Nah. Yo, I'm out, fam. This is this is getting crazy. <laughs> I'm out, y'all. Y'all take care, man. I'm out of here. Y'all take care. Peace.